Welcome to this ISB Spotlight with Paytrace. My name is Sam Johnson. I'll be your host and your sales trainer today. For those of you that haven't been on an ISB Spotlight, it's been a little bit since we've had one. Uh, just some background on what to expect. This is a quick webinar session, about 30 minutes to an hour, where we highlight some of our ISV partners on their integrations with Paytrace. This is your opportunity to get to see the integration in action, to learn about uh, the background of the company, and really to ask questions, right? Hopefully, the goal for this is that you see some opportunity with this, either for prospects or some of your existing clients, that we can help service them and create more success for you. So with that said, uh, if you do have questions throughout today's call, if you're not, you are muted, but you should see a little Q&A box at the bottom of your screen, wiggle your mouse around and you can click on that, send in any questions, comments, or emotional outbursts that you have throughout this call into us. And we'll try to address those by the end of this call. And if not, we'll have somebody follow up with you sometime following this. All right, if that sounds good, let's go ahead and get right into this. Our guest today is NewGen. Uh, you guys may have heard of them. They are an emerging NetSuite solution. They also have some other really cool solutions out there. Uh, but with us to present is Adam Kostopoulos. Uh, Adam, welcome. Uh, Want to ask- Hey, you, Sam. Yeah, welcome. Thanks for having me today. Appreciate you hopping on. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background. I learned a little bit about you the other day, but I think it's good to share with with the group um, and let people know how you know you're actually pretty legit. Yeah, no, absolutely, and and thanks again for having us. Thanks to all the folks that are joining. This is this is really exciting. Um, personally, I'll, I will tell you definitely a little bit about the organization NewGen as well. Here, uh, me myself uh, again. My name is Adam. I'm a sales engineer with NewGen. Um, been with the organization for about three years, and really my role uh, is a, a pre-sales resource at NewGen. So NewGen, uh, we're an ERP VAR, value-added reseller. Um, we've been around for about 25 years. Um, we sell solutions in the NetSuite space primarily, uh, but we also do a lot of Sage. And we've been around the block for some time, seen about pretty much every iteration of ERP uh, kind of since, uh, since the beginning. But, um, you know, I'll tell you a little bit more about the organization kind of as time goes on here. But um, been with NewGen for about three years, um, and, and recently, again, we spend most of our time in, net, in the NetSuite space, so we sort of found ourselves learning a little bit more about the payments game uh, by way of a, of, a, of a customer who actually introduced us to the Paytrace Gateway, wanted uh, an integration to NetSuite. Uh, we were able to build that. Build that. Uh, they found incredible success with it, and we've since kind of spun it into a, a bunch of other merchants and worked with a bunch of other ISOs. So, um, you know, again, really excited to share it here today. Uh, myself personally, uh, again, uh, been with NewGen for about three years. Before this, worked at NetSuite directly, actually, uh, for a number of years as part of the Oracle acquisition, which happened in, I think, like late or early 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, and prior to that, uh, spent a number of years in public accounting. So I worked at Ernst & Young. So a uh, bit of a CTA accounting background, technology background, kind of try to spin all that into uh, what I do, helping our customers. Uh, with ERP and in in uh, in uh, business technology. So basically, you should be able to answer almost any question that comes through on this call today. I I, I will have to see. I I think I foolishly told you uh, <laughs> to go ahead and fire away with with Q and A questions. Um, you know, I joke being in sales engineering and showing software for as long as I have. It's it's we used to call it at Oracle stump the chump. So it was like. You know, just fire away at the dude showing you product and, and see if you can trip them up. So we'll see. All right. So team, you heard it. Let's keep him on his toes. I also do want to say we have uh, Shane from NewGen. He's also in the background. He's going to be helping kind of answer some questions as, as well as uh, Kevin Hurd. Many of you guys know he is our uh, integrations manager here at Paytrace. So if you see them coming through the Q&A box, uh, they're going to be helping out on this call as well. Um, so you mentioned, right, you had a customer that came to Paytrace or came to NewGen and, and wanted to work with Paytrace. Um, what, what, other than, right, you had this one-off instance of a customer, but what are some of the benefits that you found, right, of using Paytrace as a partner and, and why are we, um, right, why are we working together in this capacity? Yeah, 
Yeah. So I would say kind of two big things in, in me personally, being a guy on the sales side, the pre-sales side, along with, you know, my colleague, Shane, you mentioned, um, there's one kind of on that side. And then I also help with our product team, uh, development, testing, um, maintaining what we've built, like our Patriots integration from version to version with NetSuite. So really two, two big ones. One is the, the value proposition. The value proposition of the Patriots gateway is so incredibly strong, obviously, because of what you guys are doing on the optimization side. It's, it's, it's the no brainer that everyone on this call already knows. So there's that. And then personally, as NewGen, as a group that's an ISV that does uh, a lot of work, honestly, with, with obviously NetSuite, tons of ERP technologies, but lots of third party solutions with open APIs that we integrate to, all of that. Um, you know, you guys have a standout, uh, you know, API capabilities, documentation and support team. Um, you know, there's some folks that, that seem to be the guys that are always, uh, and Kevin's one of them for sure, that have the answers to our technical questions. Uh, and, and we get them fast and, and we get any issues we have resolved very quickly. So it's been really awesome working with you guys. That's awesome. And we'll, we'll call out a little bit at the end about some of the great support and uh, some of the consultation that NewGen has available, but I want to I want to keep that for later. Uh, but with that said, I'd like you know some people on this call maybe aren't super familiar with NewGen. They may not be super familiar with NetSuite, and of course we're going to want to see what you know what this solution is. Uh, and Adam, I know you have a deck. You want to just hop right into it and and uh, get you know show some background. Definitely. Let's let's go ahead and do that. And, uh, you know, again, we spend all day for the most part demoing, you know, ERP for two, three hours. So I'll try not to spend too much time in slides and, and kill people with that. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll open up with a little bit, like to give a little bit of background, and then we'll jump right into NetSuite, because uh, it sounds like we're going to want to see a, a short demo of the product as well. Is that right? Awesome. Yes, absolutely. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right. Hopefully, I have the right screen share. Could you guys see my slide deck opened up here? Looks perfect. Awesome. Okay. So I gave you a, a little bit of an intro. You know, I don't need to talk anymore about me. Our organization, New Gen. Um, you know, again, been around the block sometime tons of experience with ERP, with business process. We've got CKs on staff, you know, obviously to do this type of work. About 25 folks, two offices, uh, one just out of, side of Chicago where my colleague Shane and I sit. Uh, and then we've got one in Scottsdale as well. But we have customers from, from coast to coast. And we even have plenty of customers that do a lot of international business as well. Um, so about 300 some organizations we're working with regularly. Most of that is around NetSuite support uh, and then we have a stage arm as well. So for the folks that are more versed in, in ERP, uh, primarily, you know, your stage 100, 500, um, the cloud versions as well, some X3, you know, stage CRM. So, so sort of the stage family of products as well. Um, and again, been around for about 25 years. So um, I'll, I'll talk about this a little bit uh, further down the line as well, but, but what's really um, you know, where we can add a lot of value to some of these sales cycles for, for ISOs and merchant services groups is, again, we're not, you know, you guys are the payments experts. We've certainly learned a lot about this space, but, um, you know, we found that we're adding a lot of value to these sales cycles being a group that um, uh, are experts in accounting, CPAs, operations, ERP, software. So we're kind of a perfect match in terms of you guys are processing and, and payments uh, uh, side and, and we're more of the uh, solutions and areas that your customers want to charge credit cards through, you know, namely NetSuite, namely their ERP. So, uh, you know, we'll definitely talk a, a little bit about that as well as we, we keep going along here. So um, NetSuite here are the solutions. So, um, you know, I, I presume a lot of folks on the call know about NetSuite, you know, maybe that's why and, and what piqued your interest to attend here today, but, you know, NetSuite, leading cloud ERP right now, 26,000 some organizations using it. Um, again, we're not NetSuite. Uh, we are a reseller. We are a, a consultant for ERP. We've adopted different ERPs as uh, the market has sort of changed and obviously we're very cloud centric now. Uh, NetSuite is, is the number one cloud ERP in the world right now. 
We think it's a phenomenal solution, so much so that we've really pivoted our business to more of the on-prem solutions to being, you know, very net suite centric. Um, so uh, it's really that sort of next evolution beyond the organization that's outgrown QuickBooks. And they're looking for something to do their ERP, their accounting, their GL in, but also have integrated sales and opportunity management, order management, inventory control with, you know, fulfillment, um, e-commerce is integrated as well, purchasing. So it's an all-in-one encompassing solution. And it, it spreads across the market. I'll, I'll talk about the ideal customer here in a moment. But, you know, NetSuite can really be for anyone, um, you know, from organizations that have a couple seats in the platform to there's, you know, Fortune 100 companies that are running NetSuite as well. Um, so it's very extensible. And what's great about uh, NetSuite having such a breadth of, of customers, if they're a NetSuite customer, they're a customer of ours too. So they can use, you know, this integration and they can, uh, uh, you know, use the, the Patriots gateway by extension. So that's a little bit about NetSuite. Um, our integration, of course, uh, connects NetSuite processing, NetSuite transactions to allow NetSuite users to off cards, charge cards, refund, and void uh, through the NetSuite system. So, you know, the promise of ERP, again, and I'll probably sound like a broken record of this, uh, is is it's meant to be an all-in-one system. You're supposed to, with ERP, do stuff once and it flows to the right areas in your organization. Uh, what we've done here is for the folks that want to, uh, you know, use uh, a Patriots gateway, the Patriots gateway, they're now able to do that within NetSuite. And it's, it's, a, it's a huge value add. So uh, ideal customer, again, I already really talked about this. It's really anyone, anyone that uses NetSuite. So, um, you know, for, for you guys, a lot of the, the ISOs we're working with, the uh, payment uh, groups that we're working with, merchant, uh, merchant services rather, um, you know, they're bringing us into deals where they already own the account and they want to keep them happy and they've known, you know, hey, they've been using the virtual terminal on Paytrace this, this whole time to uh, uh, process their cards and then manually keying it into NetSuite. And, um, you know, finally kind of a, a solution like us, uh, we're around and they can finally bring all that in house and, and keep the merchant happy. So there's a lot of that going on, uh, that, that we're seeing with the work we're doing. Um, and then additionally, uh, uh, helping folks close new accounts. So, um, you know, if you've got a NetSuite user that, uh, uh, you're trying to sell merchant services to and, you know, you're getting in these great rates based on optimization that the gateway is doing, um, you guys might have found that, you know, unless you can say you have an answer for doing this within NetSuite where their entire business is living today, it, it becomes kind of a hard sell. So we've more than often found ourselves being like that deciding factor in deciding, uh, uh, or in the merchant rather deciding they want to go with, you know, the, the, the ISO's new merchant services. So it's been a little bit of a game changer. So um, we'll talk about how to engage and all that and, and discovery to make sure we're a good fit, but you can say with a fair degree of confidence that, that we cast a pretty wide net, uh, in, in terms of this, obviously if they're using NetSuite, you know, they're, they're a pretty good fit for, uh, for our solution. And uh, I want to throw this in here too. I got this green lit by Sam and his team that I can note this, but, uh, when we talk about partnerships, this is, you know, we're an ISV, we're interested in being partners with obviously Paytrace, with, with, uh, with merchant services groups and ISOs. Um, you know, we're directing business to ISOs that, that are using, because we're onboarding new groups in the NetSuite all the time. Um, we're directing that business to, to ISOs for the processing, and then they're using our integration to run it through NetSuite. Um, but on top of that, we're, we're finding a lot of success with, uh, with a referral program that we've set up for ISOs that are finding folks that are interested in new software, in new RP software. They complain about, you know, their on-prem systems or old school Sage or Dynamics, or maybe they're on QuickBooks and they're growing like wildfire. Um, and, 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 you know, you just, you guys are like us. You have sort of your ear to the ground with these guys. You're hearing their complaints. You're a trusted business advisor. Um, you know, we pay referral fees. So if, if you guys hear from folks, hey, we're looking for new our ERP. Um, you know, we want to move our, our accounting system, our ERP to the cloud. Um, get us involved. Get new gen involved. If we can book the business, we'll take them through the sales cycle and everything and sell them on it. You don't need to do any of that. Um, but we'll pay a referral fee, uh, based on that first year, uh, uh, uh licensing and NetSuite again, it, it, it's very affordable, but it, it can be big deals. I mean, we, we write checks 10 grand a pop all the time for this type of thing. So, 
Um, we have a agreement kind of like you guys do with your, with your sub agents. Um, and, and we like paying those out. So, uh, again, it's very complimentary. We, we, we're excited about this space, I suppose. So I, I mind if I interject there really quick, Adam? Of course. So just for people on this call, right? That's, that's a pretty big opportunity for you, right? Of course, there's the, the obvious value is that, right? New Gen has this awesome program, right? They can, they'll pay a referral fee for any business that you bring to them as an upgrade path, right? But think about your merchants, right? As they're growing, hopefully they're growing with you. But as they're growing, they're naturally gonna start progressing to wanting to upgrade their solutions, right? And we're seeing constantly, right? Adam called out NetSuite's the largest ERP cloud-based system out there. So they're naturally gonna wanna look for this. So you can come in and really be their hero if they're using something like QuickBooks or Sage or any of these other softwares that are out there and you can really take care of your merchant, right? You're gonna you're gonna look like a superstar. So I wanna I wanna launch a poll, really quick, just to get an idea. But right, how many of you guys act as as consultants for your merchants instead of just right just sales, just getting the business? But how many of you actually advise them outside of just accepting credit cards? Right. Let's go ahead and leave this up here for a minute because I am curious. Right. Um, I'll go ahead and shut this down in about three, two, one. All right, so about two thirds of people do act in some capacity as consultants, right? So guys, outside of just the obvious, right? Let's get these guys that are using NetSuite and let's bring them over to our processing, right? Let's let's take a look at our at our active portfolio because there there could be a lot of really great opportunity in there for your merchants, right? So. Adam, take it away. Cool. No, that's that's great. That's exciting, super eye-opening. I'll add too. I, I like what you said there, Sam, about being the hero. And and I'll add on top of that. Uh, again, we're we're not a, a merchant services company, right? We're a, we're an integrator. We're a Net, we're NetSuite guys. But my understanding is, you know, getting the the merchant services account is one thing, but keeping it is another, right? For to get those those payments over time, that type of thing. And I think the name of the game there, just like us with with ERP software. It's, Stickiness, you know, I can get them in the door, but can I keep them there for my, you know, ongoing uh, residuals? So if you get someone in the door on NetSuite, you know, on an integration like ours, everything's working, you know, like clockwork, they're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to have any reason to. So, um, and we, we love having these conversations. So when we talk about uh, how to get a hold of us, if, if you want to learn more about that program, um, you know, please uh, do reach out about, you know, all sorts of things we'll talk about here today. Cool. So um, I kind of, I keep getting ahead of myself. I only have so many things to say, but um, how we can add value to, to your cycle. I, I wanted to kind of keep my messaging here simple. Sort of what I, I told Sam and, and the team is, um, you know, as a group who has hopefully different but very complementary skills to your team, your sales team, you know, we, we, we found that we're adding a ton of value to these cycles or we certainly can. So um, the way we, we go to market or the way you engage us, and, and we'll talk about this more at the end, but it's, it doesn't take too long. Um, you know, we like to kind of get to know you, of course, on a call beforehand, or if you guys have any sort of one-off questions, get those answered without your client or your prospect on the call. But then when we get them in, involved, we, at a very minimum need 30 minutes, minimum, maximum. I mean, it doesn't take very long. We do a short discovery, um, mainly asking, you know, number of transactions, number of merchant IDs, uh, how in NetSuite are you doing your transactions, offing on sales orders, capturing on, on cash sales, um, you know, doing things in bulk, doing things one by one, e-commerce, that type of thing. So we do a little bit of learning. Then we like to get in and, and show the stuff. Um, you know, the, the demo speaks louder than anything. Um, and, and with our demos, and I'll talk about this when I get us in here uh, in, in a couple slides, um, it, it's really dead simple. Uh, we like to keep it simple. You know, I, I don't think anyone necessarily wants a ton of bells and whistles in this type of process and ERP transaction processing. They want to get in, do their transactions, and, and just charge the cards. Um, and additionally, a, a lot of these folks are using solutions already today like um, you know, other popular gateways. I won't necessarily name them. I don't think I need to. But um, they're already using these gateways with NetSuite. And those gateways have a process in which you engage them and charge cards. We 
follow those types of processes. We use the out-of-the-box NetSuite credit card field. So when it comes to material differences in day-to-day usage using other gateways with NetSuite and then using Paytrace by way of our integration, there's next to no changes, which keeps you know, the headaches of, of training their, you know, order entry staff, that type of thing, you know, you know, down to nothing. And, and for us, again, you know, we would do the training uh, for you. And we'll talk about that when we talk about engaging what the project would look like. Um, it makes it easy for us because we say, hey, what you're doing today is pretty much what you have to do with, with us as well. And I'll, I'll show you that here in a moment. Um, again, talked about this. Our team brings expertise in, in NetSuite, in ERP, in transaction process, in accounting, the debits and credits, all that boring stuff. So, you know, adding that extra layer of credibility when you've got a, you know, a CFO on the phone or something is intimately familiar with NetSuite and wants to, you know, dot, you know, dot all the I's, cross the T's. You've got NetSuite admins in there who want to know, you know, well, how's this configured? How do I switch things off, switch things on? Um, you know, we're, we're NetSuite experts uh, that, can, that can calm, quell the, the challenges of the NetSuite admin. Um, and we're, uh, we're financial experts that can quell the, the, the concerns of a CFO or a controller or, or what have you. So, um, again, uh, that's the value we've built in and we've invested in, in our pre-sales team. Um, and then this is more of like a post-sale thing, but, uh, you know, your merchants, just like you guys as companies, you don't like to have like a billion vendors and a billion relationships. It's nice to have that one-stop shop kind of thing. So, um, again, we're, this is like the side gig. It's fun. It's, 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 it's interesting. It's novel for us, but we spend most of our day, uh, doing NetSuite consulting, doing NetSuite installations, NetSuite evaluation, onboarding, that type of thing. Um, you know, if your merchant adopts our integration, sees success with it, likes us, hopefully they find it, you know, impressive and seamless, that type of stuff. We want them to reach out and say, hey, any other NetSuite support, help desk, uh, you know, custom scripting. Obviously, this was built by uh, uh, scripters and, and, and uh, uh, developers on our side at NewGen. Um, you know, those guys are available for projects that are really unique to your merchant customers. Uh, we want to be that one-stop shop. Uh, and, and I think uh, so far, a lot of the folks that have adopted the integration, they like that. They don't like to have to go to a bunch of spots. Uh, and again, we're aiming, to, we're aiming to impress with this integration for your merchant customers. Cool. One more, and then I promise I'll show you something. Um, case study. Uh, so this is actually a really recent one of ours. Um, this group, they're a, they're a major taxidermy group, and just it just pops because you don't think about that, but they you know they do a lot of business and their things are expensive. So they're the ideal Paytrace Gateway customer with that B two B huge purchases. You know they're swiping a card for fifteen hundred bucks on the regular. Um, so we worked with an ISO. Uh, the ISO says saving around seventy five thousand dollars with the optimization with the gateway. You know that's sort of your guys' half. Then with our half bringing this into NetSuite. Well, for one, they, they, I don't know if they would necessarily have been as interested in the ISO's offer of, you know, the savings if they had to do the accounting, the processing, the operations in NetSuite, then go into the gateway and do it separately. Um, so this is sort of the thing that helped them make that decision. Oh, okay, well, you're showing me how I can connect it all in NetSuite like I have with my gateway today. So that's the one thing. It helped close the deal naturally. But this allows them, of course, then to save 100 plus hours. This was an estimation their, their team gave me. 100 plus hours a month in data entry because they're not having to, for the hundreds of cards they're swiping a day, uh, do the ops, order, order entry, that type of thing, the accounting and NetSuite separate from the, the, the uh, virtual terminal in, in the Paytrace portal. So op savings, which translates to dollars, then of course those direct savings. That's huge. And I, I just noticed this, Adam. I, I didn't even like the background on it. This is, this is one of the most interesting <sighs> I've ever heard of. A, a taxidermist and interior environment crafting company, right? Not your typical merchant that you, t- that you go to, but right? these are guys that are doing these really cool designs for businesses, right? And that's where I think the pay trace side of thing comes into play. I saw a couple questions coming through the Q&A box already talking about, does it work with level two and level three? Does it do the interchange optimization? Um, and that's what's really cool, right? Is that, as we'll see in a moment, right? Merchants are still able to use their their native, I'm going to focus on native, NetSuite environment 
And Paytrace is just chugging along in the background doing what we do best with interchange optimization. So that's where you get those, those, those legitimate fee savings, right? Those interchange savings. And then again, new gens coming in here and they're right, making that simple. They're creating efficiency. So, you know, right off the bat, this is, this is a phenomenal case study, Adam. I'm, I'm really glad that you brought this up. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you go with case studies, you, you half look at the numbers and, and behind the case study and half like, is the, is the customer cool or, or, or did they sound cool? So I, and that's definitely why I chose them. So, and, and then the, the quote, we're really, we're proud of this and, and this individual, this ISO, um, one of the biggest, maybe, maybe the biggest, um, someone actually asked a question about them. They're a processor as well, but, uh, one of their reps said, you know, I've dealt with a lot of ERP, a lot of integrations, but this is by far one of the most seamless experiences I ever had. And we'll, we'll talk about, uh, how we install our timelines. I mean, to give you a hand, we, we can do it in less than a week. Um, which is, which is, uh, can, can be radically different than, than some of the uh, solutions in the past is, is what I understand. Uh, but, but we were proud to get this, uh, this quote from, from her. All right. So let's go ahead and let's jump in and take a look. So let me get my NetSuite screen up here. Sam, can I confirm you can see NetSuite pulled up? Uh, I can confirm. Yes. Fantastic. So, um, when it comes to demoing, again, we can get in and out in, in five minutes. Sometimes people need to see, you know, evidence of just one transaction impacting the Paytrace portal to see that connection in real time and, and then we're good. Sometimes people will say, well, you know, I, I don't do sales order to cash sale. I do sales order to invoice with, with collect, uh, collections and then, you know, get that paid or the payment and then I want to see a refund and all that stuff. So. We're able to pivot on the fly because again, you know, we're we're NetSuite guys first, kind of kind of payments guys second. So um, the demo can be anywhere from you know two minutes to to twenty minutes, and we can usually pivot on the fly. But what I'll do here is is I'm just going to get us in quick. I'll show you a, a couple screens. We'll off the card. We'll capture the funds. Uh, we'll see what that looks like in the PageRace uh, portal, just to sort of a uh, um, you know put the you know prove out that, that, that this is, this is something that's working for our customers. So in here in, in NetSuite, um, you know, one more thing I'll note here, let's open up a sales order. Um, you know, uh, some ISC or some, uh, ISOs are familiar with NetSuite. They have NetSuite questions, you know, they want to sort of get in the head and in the thought process of, of what's important with their merchant customers that are using NetSuite. We like those types of questions from you as well. So we're always happy to educate you guys and, and sort of connect any dots that you guys need. We, we know that, you know, we can't all be pros at everything. You guys are the payments guys. Um, you know, we come to you for those types of questions. We're more than happy to answer your questions around this type of thing. So let's go ahead and keep some stuff in here quick. Let's send this out to this customer ultimate technology. And then let's throw an item on the line here. And let's do like an amount that's kind of recognizable. We'll do 75 bucks. Now on the billing tab, now, you know, I don't know how intimate a lot of folks on the call are with NetSuite, what it normally looks like, but your merchants certainly will. These are the out of the box NetSuite credit card fields. These are the ones they're going to be used to, to using. So we use these same exact fields when we're keying in the card data. And again, we aim to be dead simple. We don't want any bells or whistles because our I don't think the merchants really want that. I just want to get in and out. So Keying in your card, obviously, your card number, your expiration date, your name on the card, a lot of this other information will come in from the CRM that's built into NetSuite. Um, then we can go ahead and charge the card. And then, of course, as well, um, if the card's been used in the past uh, or cards can be added to the customer master record within NetSuite, uh, we have tools that encrypt that card with the Paytrace tools. So uh, it becomes that encrypted Paytrace card that, that Paytrace needs. Uh, to store securely, PCI compliant, all that stuff uh, to, to be reused uh, over and over. So we've actually got two on file for this customer. Let's go ahead and use this 4242 Visa. Within NetSuite, I get this box, get authorization that's checked for me automatically. We'll go ahead and save that. So again, this is where we talked that 100 plus hours that a that, uh, case study of our saves a month. This is what that's all about. This is creating an order, an agreement in their system with a customer. Uh, of theirs, the merchant's customer, um, you know, it's offing the card, 
Um, it's selling a bill of goods, you know, maybe it kicks off into a fulfillment process, that type of thing. It kicks off emails to their customer. Um, that's all, of course, driven by NetSuite. But what we're adding in here is the all important, you know, card action. So the off. So on my billing tab now, I go to the payments tab. I see an indication here uh, that this has uh, authorized to, to pay trace successfully. Now, if there was any error, card, you know, issue with the card number, the funds, pay trace, we're obviously using your API. You guys send back an error code. We feed that error code then through the integration to the end user so they understand why that card can't be off. So they can take, you know, their own action. And that way you don't get tech support calls for, you know, the guy that's inserting, you know, only 15 digits instead of 16 digits for the card number or something like that. So it's, it saves a headache for us, honestly. So uh, off for 75 bucks on this card, we've got our information down here, approval code, transaction ID from Paytrace. Let's go ahead here. I'm going to open up the portal here. I'm just using uh, for any of the folks on the call that ever used the sandbox accounts through Paytrace. I got one of those open here on my other monitor. Let's drag this over. So in Paytrace, this is my sandbox I'm hooked up to in my config for our integration. Let's search. There's our auth. 75 bucks authorized the Bob card holder. There's uh, my approval code 852. There's my approval code 852. And then my pay trace transaction ID ending 558. There's our 558. So we've got that information up. Now pay trace is going to be able to do, uh, you know, the, the optimization magic, which is cool because then we don't have to send a bunch of data. We send just what it takes, obviously, to charge the card. Um, and and, and pay trace really takes care of the rest. Um, so we've off here. Again, you're merchant, and we can always speak to this because we understand NetSuite. They might have other things going on. They'll ask totally unrelated to payments questions here, um, which we can we can you know take care of. But what what we do is again, we're we're uh, our integration. We don't come into the picture until there's an action in NetSuite where a card event happens, so an off on a sales order, or what I'm going to do here is I'm billing of an order. So say they fulfilled this. Based on their business process, they're good to go ahead and capture those funds that have been authorized. Uh, through NetSuite, what that would be is it would be this cash sale. So net, what NetSuite's going to do for you here, it's going to pull everything forward. And what we've done with our integration in the payments tab, you can see it. We pulled everything forward. Um, and you can see here this box is already checked. It's ready to process the cart. So go ahead and save here. We get this. This is again, this is a NetSuite screen that we're integrated into. So if they're already processing cards with another gateway today, they're used to all these screens. They're used to all these boxes. There's no material change in this process. And people love that. Um, $75. Yep, looks good on the 4242. Press OK. Again, that's going to do everything in one go. It's going to hit your accounting. It's going to create the record. It's going to close the order. And of course, it's going to uh, hit the Paytrace gateway. It's going to capture. Uh, those funds um, that have been previously off. So back on my payments tab, again, we can see those details uh, uh, from Paytrace. And I got two that are blank here naturally. Um, that's your batch, your settlement. So we also have some scripting in the tool that every night, we do I think 4 a.m. local time, will uh, bring down any of the previous days settled transactions, the settlement amount, the date, the batch number. So uh, and this is more boring, but the when they're doing your customers doing the reconciliation of cash and, and cash deposits, if they need to look at different batch numbers for what you know cash account they should put it in, that type of thing, we make all that data data available in the um, cash management tools within NetSuite ERP. So um, that's good to go. Let's just confirm here really quick. We'll refresh and pay trace, and sure enough, we can see that seventy five bucks was once authorized. Now it's pending settlement. So obviously, it's going to go through the the batch process, batch out, settle, uh, and then we'll, uh, you know, probably 4 a.m., I suppose, uh, pull down, you know, batch 56 with the amount, the date, all that stuff. So that's a super quick demo. Again, we can do those for whomever. You can see they're pretty quick. Uh, again, merchants we talk to that are using NetSuite, they like it because uh, it looks like what they're doing today. It's just now they can enjoy the savings with, uh, with the magic of patrons. Fantastic. Um, Adam, is this a good time to start plugging in some questions? Yeah, we can, uh, we can attempt. I've got like a red thing that's kind of going nuts. 
<laughs> this might be the most interactive uh, ISV spotlight we've ever had. We've got somewhere like 40 questions coming through. So guys, just a heads up, we're not going to be able to get to every single one on this call. I do see Shane and Kevin in the background are furiously answering a lot of these. So appreciate you guys for jumping in there. Uh, a few that I want to touch on right off the bat, and I'll take this one and, and give you a second to breathe, Adam, from Jeff and a few flavors from some other folks, but specifically asking what info will the merchant need to ensure to input to ensure level two or level three? Um, and that's what's cool about right why Paytrace is the gateway attached to this solution, because what Paytrace does is we're able to automate most of that pretty intricate data that's involved in level two and level three. So from the merchant's perspective, when they're going through that transaction process that Adam just outlined, it's just the basic right address and billing zip code and just making sure that they're settling that within 24 hours. Everything beyond that, Paytrace is gonna help automate so that the merchant's not having to worry about that and spending a lot of time manually going through line by line on that, uh, which is really nice, right? Nobody likes extra work. Uh, so another one that I wanted to talk in here about, um, Adam, you, you mentioned there's other NetSuite vendors out there that are bringing payment solutions to NetSuite customers, um, but right, they're not doing some of the things that NewGen can do specifically with interchange optimization. Um, tell us about what, what does the process look like if somebody's using another NetSuite vendor, but they want to start using NewGen with Paytrace? How does, how does that process work? Yeah, so our implementation process, we're, we're the model in which we sell is a single fee. It's an annual fee, includes installation, training, um, and conversion from the old process. Uh, we're well documented as well. So, so you guys would have the documentation, the, the merchant would have the documentation. Typically, if they have like a NetSuite admin or a more technically, you know, NetSuite guy on, on staff, they like to have that. Um, but that's something we take care of and, and, and we can do these um, implementations, to be honest with you, as fast as your merchant wants to MOOC. Um, you know, payments can be uh, a sticky thing, obviously. You, you never like to really mess with the money. So depending on who we're working with, the merchant, they'll like to do various degrees of testing on their own with like a test sandbox, which we can provide through Paytrace. Uh, to use test credit cards to test their process. So, so they'll want to do the testing. Um, uh, but other people are just, they say, you know, go ahead and rig up my production Paytrace account. And I want to start authoring real cards and charging real cards today. Um, and, and we, again, we typically don't see any issue with that. But it's, it all depends on sort of the appetite of the customer as to, you know, does it take a week or does it take, you know, a couple of days? Sure. So but we, and, and we handle that. I, I don't know if I, I think I maybe skipped over that. We handle the conversion. We handle uh, uh, the config. That's awesome. And, and you had mentioned a couple of times, right? This integration is not lengthy. I've heard other NetSuite solutions are very customized. There's a lot of dev work that goes into it, specifically on the merchant side of thing, on the business's side of thing. Um, can you elaborate a little bit more on what the implementation process looks like for new gen and maybe timelines and maybe just a quick step-by-step -step example on, on that flow. Yeah. So what's good about, you know, you guys, I think the guys listening, the ISOs, the, the merchant services guys, I, we don't really need anything from you outside of let us know who we need to talk to from, you know, the customer side to get access to their NetSuite account uh, to install the solution and config the solution. Then what we need from you naturally is, is the merchant information. Uh, or the Paytrace login, the Paytrace password. Um, but that's all we, we really need from you. Um, you know, once we're in the, the merchant's NetSuite account, uh, able to install our, our bundle is, is how you distribute NetSuite solutions or suite apps are sometimes called. Uh, but it's a, a pre-configured set of scripts and screens and fields. NetSuite's a really extensible, really customizable platform. That's why we've obviously built a entire business around doing this. Uh, you know, there's a ton you can do with the platform. It's really cool. Uh, but, you know, we built this thing once, uh, packaged it up, and, and we spit that package out, you know, to all sorts of NetSuite, NetSuite accounts, uh, you know, when we're, when we're selling this thing out. So it, it's not one-off account-to-account work. It, it's, it comes in the form of a, of a solution that's, that's bundled and ready to go, tried and tested, 
gotten holes poked in it in the past. We we patched ourselves up and we're good to go. We we don't get a lot of those anymore, um, which is which is really cool. Um, and 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 what I'll add here too is, you know, what's valuable about this and for your merchants that are using NetSuite solutions today, third party solutions or suite apps again. Um, is this is how the, the 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 NetSuite solutions are are delivered? You know, Salesforce has a similar thing with uh, with with their with their platform. Um, you know, NetSuite it's a cloud application. You don't need to get to decide whether or not you go to the next version. Everyone's on the same version. It's cloud delivered, uh, meaning that the core solution is always evolving, and there's always a risk that any changes, any customizations, any suite apps you layer on top of the solution can break or act funny with, with new versions. Um, and that's why we've, we've taken this approach of, of, of coming as a prepackaged bundle, as a suite app, uh, a core software package that we can maintain and make sure it works across all versions going forward as, as people are continuing to use this solution. And I think that's kind of a good lead into um, a question that we get very often on this is pricing. Um, literally within the first five minutes of this presentation, we had Amber <laughs> hopping in there asking how much does this cost? Um, right, you mentioned very comprehensive bundle type of solution. What on this call, what can you share about pricing on, on new gen solution? Mm -hmm. What I could share is so we happy to have this conversation offline. Um, you know, we we price based on a couple of different variables. What I can say, and we'll say two things. We like to keep it simple, and I think you you know we're founding so far that ISOs appreciate that because you've got you know you've got your kind of complex pricing scenarios to create the value proposition of interchange and, and credit card processing savings with your customer. Our line item, if we're something that helps you sell that deal, we're one line item. We don't have any sort of, you know, weird fees like that. But, um, you know, uh, people like that, again, it, it includes support for the integration. It includes ongoing updates with the new versions of NetSuite. And there's two major uh, ones per year. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll say that much. Um, I had one other great bit, but I've... Since forgot. <laughs> There's so many values. I got the important one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll remember. I think I think this is a good opportunity. Someone can ask me in the chat. Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out. It'll pop up. I think this is a good opportunity though to pause because I, you know I'm seeing a ton of interest in the chat in here from our partners. Um, and, and Shane's doing a great job already setting this up and saying, you know, let's talk offline on some of these questions. Um, but how many of you on this call today would like that that introduction into new gen you know you're already partners with paytrace because you're here um we're more than happy to connect you with adam and, and shane and the team over there um i'm going to leave this poll up here for just a few seconds but if you'd like some sort of connection uh let us know and we're more than happy to um get you that get you that introduction and uh, adam in a little bit we'll be putting up some contact information on how to get a hold of new gen so uh, just keep that in mind uh, looks like a lot of people, Adam. So uh, you'll, you're we're gonna keep you busy for a little bit. It sounds like very exciting. We're looking forward to it. Um, let's go ahead and take a few more questions. Again, we're not gonna get to every one of them, um, but I have seen a few consistent ones coming in, and one specifically talking about ACH and checks. Um, I've seen that Shane is saying yes, but tell us a little bit about. Um, Checks and ACH integrations. Does NewGen support that with your guys' solution at all? Yeah, uh, we know there's APIs for it. Uh, we don't have that finalized yet, um, but it's certainly something we would like to do. We'd like to be that well-rounded solution. So um, we know they're there. We haven't had it be like a showstopper yet. Uh, but we're certainly, you know, interested in hearing from people on this call when they come to us with cases, when they when they come to us with merchant needs. Um, you know, we, we we certainly can have that fluctuate in sort of the roadmap for the solution as it goes forward, depending on sort of what we're hearing. Gotcha. Definitely on the roadmap, we'll say that. Okay, and like like Shane says on the on the responses, guys, if you do have opportunities like that, definitely let's have that conversation. Right, that's something we want to unpack. Um, Robert, here's a question. Um, 
asking about what other PayTrace services are integrated into this new gen solution, right? Because we, we walked through a really good example about uh, just typing in a transaction into new gen or into, into NetSuite, leveraging new gen. Uh, we've, right, you can see that you can tokenize that by leveraging the vault. Uh, but are there other things, Adam, like uh, invoicing or recurring payments or what does that look like currently? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a good question. Um, and we're always kind of interested in hearing from, you know, ISOs or groups or whomever that think there's some sort of value proposition or something cool we could do uh, to, to, to build in the solution. Again, I mean, when it comes to how this thing's evolved over the last maybe nine or so months we've had it, it's been entirely driven by merchant need. You know, we, we're not interested in building anything that nobody wants. So we're, we're it doesn't help us sell anything. So, um, you know, we're always interested in hearing that from people. So, so, you know, any offline conversations, let us know. But speaking to that exactly, you know, when we talk about recurring payments, when we talk about, you know, the invoice link, which is cool that Paytrace does, there are NetSuite equivalents of those types of things. Like NetSuite allows for recurring, you know, billing and, and payments. Uh, we, you, you'll find that a NetSuite user typically is doing that within their ERP. Uh, and then, you know, say a recurring billing, every bill is then going to hit, you know, pay trace and charge the card and, and something like the invoice link NetSuite allows for a customer portal for all of the NetSuite user, the NetSuite merchants customers. So they can have like thousands of customers and they can have their own individual login uh, that we've integrated to. So you could use a pay trace, you know, uh, gateway to card uh, on that screen. So we kind of have the support, but not through the official Patriots tools. We we have support for the business case. We'll say that. Right. Ultimately, to say right, the ERP NetSuite already does a lot of this of this stuff, but now it's just got it's just got that Patriots functionality, that payments functionality that can be added to. Um, so that's fair. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, question here from um, from Wade who may have missed portions of the demo, a little distracting. There's a lot of distractions going on right now. Um, but asking about if there's an iframe that opens up to collect the credit card number. And this is something, Adam, if you don't mind me tackling, um, that I really like sure. about this integration is, right, we see a lot of integrations that, that really do get the job done, but they act as kind of like middlewares or, right, they're, they're going to have a different user interface, different UX. Um, what's really cool about this guy is that I'm super excited about is that this is native, right? What that means is that this is using the, the, the businesses, the merchants own NetSuite interface, and it's really just adding on to it, right? So it's not going anywhere else. They're not having to open up some other module out there, right? But they're truly able to use their existing software solution and add that layer of payments and, and interchange optimization to their to their processes, which I'm, I'm so stoked about. Uh, let me take a look here. We're still getting a ton of questions come in here. Let's take about maybe two more, I think, and we'll go ahead and um, go into some next steps. Um, guys, you guys, you're blowing us up. We're going to have a lot of follow up. It sounds like a um, few cost questions. That's on that's shame. <laughs> that is on Shane. Sorry, Shane. We're gonna keep you busy, man. Adam's doing his job. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to step it up after this. Gonna work OT. Exactly. Um, okay, it's it's a lot of repeat questions. So I think we've covered a lot of this. Um, I I do want to ask a little bit about um, contact information, right? If if folks have um, questions, how do they get a hold of you guys? If they're interested in looking into new gen as a solution for their NetSuite merchants or right they want to do that referral type deal that you were talking about um do you have information that you can share with us do you have a slide that you could pull up on on some contact info yeah let me place to end let me pull it up again really quick i'll speak to it so then we can kind of get it frozen in time for the recording and all that um yeah see that one yes engaging with us Awesome. Yeah, so pretty easy. Um, if you want to jot this down, sales at newgennow.com. So one thing I'll note here, totally fair, call us whatever you want. The name of our organization is New Gen. Again, we're, we're, we're a NetSuite partner uh, for, for, for a long time now. 
Um, our integration technically is called, I think, like NetSuite PayTrace integration. So um, you can find a product page for us. If you Google NetSuite plus PayTrace, I think we might be second only after PayTrace. Um, you can go to the PayTrace website, go to the integrations tab. I think we're under NetSuite. Um, so you'll find our logo there. So email us, go to our website, newgennow.com. We've got a ton of contact forms all over the place. Fill it out. Uh, we'll typically get back to you. Honestly, during the workday, we'll get back to you in 10 minutes. Uh, even after hours, we try to at least say, hey, got your message. Uh, you know, when, when can we follow up, you know, during an open slot tomorrow or, or something like that. So we're pretty, we like to be responsive, especially on first contact. Um, and then I mentioned this, you know, bring us into a sales cycle anytime. You're halfway through, you, you want to talk about a new engagement. Um, again, we're, we're finding we can be that value prop. We can be that thing to get things over the line for you. Um, and we, we certainly hope that continues to be true. Uh, our installation config training typically takes a week. Again, it can take a couple of days depending on how fast your merchant wants to move. What's cool about this too is you guys don't need to really do anything. Um, you know, we, we can tell our story. We can showcase our solution. We install it. All we need from you is the ISO thing in, in terms of giving us the, the merchant um, or rather the, the Paytrace login, you know, tied to all the merchant processing and, and all of that. So it's all we really need from you. Um, and then our pricing, again, we, we'd like to keep it simple. So that one-time recurring annual cost that encompasses installation, config, training, uh, future updates, which again are critical in the NetSuite space because with NetSuite, your merchant customers that are using NetSuite, they don't get to decide whether or not they, they get upgraded to the newest version of NetSuite. Um, it's a cloud application. There's one version of NetSuite and we need to make sure selling a product like this, that we're going to work properly with every subsequent version. Otherwise, obviously we're going to have major problems. So that's what we do. That's what we promise. And that's what we make part uh, of that annual fee. Awesome. And guys, if, if you don't have this information handy or you forget it for whatever reason, uh, always feel free to reach out to Paytrace directly as well. Uh, sales at paytrace.com is probably the best way to go. Our sales team will get you connected with the right folks over at New Gen so we can get those conversations going. So um, you've got multiple avenues to get a hold of us, right? Um, I think the last thing that I wanted to uh, bring up, uh, there was a question that came through that I did miss and I wanted to touch on it really quick before we wrap up. Um, can a merchant try the new gen solution while still using their existing gateway, really just to, to try it out and, and get a feel for it? Yeah, we don't really like to do that uh, because quite literally to try it, we have to go through our entire process of installation. Uh, so we, 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 we try to avoid that. Um, honestly, just like NetSuite does. NetSuite, we often get asked, you know, if we're doing a NetSuite evaluation, is there a demo in NetSuite? Not really. Yeah. We're more than happy to do the demos. We're more than happy to look at their process documentations, look at what they do in NetSuite, make sure we can do exactly what it is they do when they process orders and run cards, that type of stuff. But yeah, we don't do demos and, or trials. Right, trials. And I think that's, that's really the value of these consultation calls that you can set up with, with your team is just trying to take 15 to 30 minutes max, take a look, see if it's a good fit. Typically, I think it probably is, at least from the ones that we've been on, it seems like it's it's a pretty slick solution and merchants really like it and get behind it. Um, Lucky for us, I'll, I'll add there, there's not really many ways that people can run transactions through NetSuite. And that's where we've been able to build something that can you know be built once and apply to many accounts and be really stable. It's because you know, there's only really one way to put stuff through NetSuite. So it's very rare that there is some sort of mismatch and fit. And, and if there's going to be, we can dig it out really, really quickly on those evaluation calls or on a demo. Absolutely. Um, all right, cool. Well, let's uh, go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, Adam, I want to thank you very much for the, the presentation. You've been excellent. I hope we kept you on your toes enough. Um, I do want to say uh, we have had a lot of questions about, is this going to be recorded? Yes, this session is recorded. We're going to have this up on our YouTube and our social channels here in the future and probably on that integrations page that Adam referenced earlier. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll have some follow-up information for you guys um, sometime here in the very near future. Um, again, Adam, thank you. Everybody on this call, thank you so much for hopping on here. I hope you got some good value from this. Start looking for those NetSuite integrations. Start asking your merchants 
about their current softwares and let's let's take care of them. This is an awesome solution. I uh, hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week and take care. Bye guys.